Hello people. Welcome back to our channel. I am Michael, and today I will take you to another European country, Norway. It is a country of Northern Europe that occupies the western half of the Scandinavian peninsula. Nearly half of the inhabitants of the country live in the far south, in the region around Oslo, the capital. About two-thirds of Norway is mountainous, and off its much indented coastline lie. Carved by deep glacial fjords, there are around 50,000 islands. Indo-European peoples settled Norway's coast in antiquity, establishing a permanent settlement near the present capital of Oslo some 6,000 years ago. The interior was more sparsely settled, owing to extremes of climate and difficult terrain, and even today the country's population is concentrated in coastal cities, such as Bergen and Trondheim. Dependent on fishing and farming, early Norwegians developed a seafaring tradition that would reach its apex in the Viking era, when Norse warriors regularly raided the British Isles, the coasts of Western Europe, and even the interior of Russia, the Vikings also established colonies in Iceland, and Greenland and explored the coast of North America, which Leif Erikson called Vinland, more than a thousand years ago. Lying on the northern outskirts of the European continent, and thus avoiding the characteristics of a geographic crossroads, Norway has maintained a great homogeneity among its peoples and their way of life. Small enclaves of immigrants, mostly from southeastern Europe and South Asia, established themselves in the Oslo region in the late 20th century, but the overwhelming majority of the country's inhabitants are ethnically Nordic. Norway ranks among the top 10 countries of the world in GNP per capita and has one of the world's highest standards of living. Since the 1950s Norwegians have spent a smaller share of their income than formerly on food, beverages, and tobacco. Travel and leisure activities have increased their share rapidly, however, as have such household goods as electrical appliances. During the 1960s the number of automobiles per inhabitant increased dramatically, from 1 in 21 persons having an automobile to 1 in 3, it now is about 1 in 2. By law, Norwegians are guaranteed 25 vacation days every year. Working hours may not exceed 9 hours a day or 40 hours per week. A 5-day workweek had become the rule by the late 1960s. Until the 1970s Norway felt the housing shortage created by World War II. The shortage was aggravated further by high costs in the densely populated urban areas. But housing standards have improved tremendously, and most families live in houses built since the war, a majority of them financed by state loans on favorable terms. In densely populated areas, particularly in and around Oslo, Housing prices soared beginning in the early 1990s but then fell precipitously in 2007-08 as a result of the global economic downturn, only to recover later in the decade. Located on the outskirts of Europe and with much of its inland population almost completely isolated until the 20th century, Norway has been able to preserve much of its old folk culture, including a large body of legends concerning pixies, subterraneans, and supernatural beings. On the other hand, as seafarers and traders, the Norwegians have always received fresh cultural stimuli from abroad. Norway's customs and history, as outdoor activities are central to the life of most Norwegians. In particular, the country's cuisine reflects its environment. Fish dishes such as lax, salmon, and torsk, cod, are popular. After spending a month in Norway, exploring its nature, culture and heritage. I must say I am very much impressed with the country as whole. I feel incredibly lucky to have the opportunity to explore here, and living in Norway has given me a wonderful sense of safety. Not only is it a very safe country in general, but once you're a resident in here it feels like you're really taken care of. Health care and education is free, and even unskilled work pays well, so as long as you're willing to put in the hard work to learn the language you should be able to have a good life here. Thank you for watching. And if you like what you saw, like share and consider subscribing to the channel. Let me know what what other travel destinations you would like me to cover in the comments section.